upload your pupils via a CSV file today. So to do this, first of all, you must be an admin user, which you can see next to your school. Then scroll down to all pupils and click add pupils and upload. Now here it will come up with download sample CSV file, so you need to click on that and it will get downloaded. And then it will open with all these headers that have automatically been put here for you. So not all of these need to be populated. The name of the children will obviously need to be populated. The username can be kept blank as these can be created automatically as they have to be unique within the whole of EdShed. The children also don't need emails. The passwords can also be generated automatically. If you want to, you can also include the UPNs, but again, you don't have to do this. I would recommend that you put their classes in here because then that means once they get uploaded they'll automatically be put into classes and display names can also get generated automatically. So what you need to do next is populate these two columns and the UPN numbers if you wish and then save this. Now it will automatically be saved as a CSV but just so you know what that looks like, it will look like it here. So that's the option you need to choose. And once you've saved that, we can go back to our web page. And where it says drop files here to upload, if you click, you can then go into your computer files. There's one that I made it earlier. <laughs> and once you've done that, it'll automatically just put them all on the system. And if you've already got a subscription like I have, it will pop up. Um, with if you would like to sign licenses to the pupils, which you must do in order for them to be able to play the games. So click assign license and then click on the one that you want to assign. So I had a subscription for 36 licenses and I've got 33 pupils on here. So I've got still got three, three licenses there remaining. So I'm going to click assign. And done. And you can see if I click show licenses they are all there and because I put my groups or my classes in if I now go to groups all my groups are automatically there with my test pupils in them so to download the pupils login details what you can do is a few different ways. If you go on to all pupils, you can click download logins and this will download all of the pupils logins. If you click groups, this button will download the login details of all of this group. If you click on a specific pupil and click print login details, that will download just this login. Now it's also worth noting here that you can see this test pupil that I randomly uploaded this is their display name here, which is completely different to their actual name. And we do this on purpose so that on leagues, they don't display their real names and they're given anonymity. If you do want to change this, you can just click on this pencil button here. 